Our moon is close by and reflects enough sunlight to make it easily bright enough to see. But although we can't see any other moons with our eyes, there are plenty orbiting around other planets in the solar system. Many aren't like ours. Jupiter's moon Ganymede is much bigger and others, like Deimos, the potato-shaped moon of Mars, are very small. Some of Jupiter's tiniest moons are even smaller. Dwarf planets and asteroids can even have their own moons too. Their differing sizes are partly down to how they formed. It's thought that our moon formed from the debris of a large object colliding with the young Earth. Many scientists think that Mars's moons Phobos and Deimos were asteroids pulled into orbit by Mars's gravity, or perhaps they're the leftovers of an asteroid impact. Other moons formed less violently. The four Galilean moons around Jupiter may have been created at the same time, and from the same material that Jupiter did. Some of the moons have similar features, but others are wildly different. The dark patches on our moon were created when space rocks smashed into the crust, releasing molten rock from below, which then cooled. The moon doesn't have volcanoes, but there is a moon that does. Io has over 400, and the sulphur released from them has coloured it yellow and made it smell like rotten eggs. Our moon has no air to breathe and only a bit of water, mostly trapped under the surface as ice. Titan, Saturn's largest moon, does have a thick layer of air, mostly nitrogen and methane gas, which unfortunately isn't breathable. Celadus, another one of Saturn's moons, has jets of water vapour shooting out from a vast ocean under its thick icy surface. With no air or liquid water, our moon doesn't seem suitable for life. Scientists still hope to return to the moon, colonise it and use it as an outpost. With over 180 moons orbiting the planets in our solar system, there are plenty of other moons to explore in the future. Perhaps there's even life on one of them. <laughs>